So folks, you guys are probably well aware of the threat that we currently face. Um, and no, I'm not actually talking about the threat of the Russian submarines off the east coast of the United States. Uh, if you guys wanna know more about that, there is uh, several, or at least there are several other videos out there. And I think one of which actually comes north of the border from Canada. And you can get all the information you need about this possible yet highly unlikely threat that really poses no immediate danger to most of the people watching these videos. Now, on the flip side, here's something that I think you guys actually really care about. And it says here that the Iowa GOP moves to stop SNAP users from buying white rice, fresh meat, and more. Now, a proposed bill could prevent Iowans who use the former food stamp program from purchasing various pantry staples. And we've already experienced this problem last year with the high likelihood of it actually being able to come to fruition of a possible food shortage. Now we experience this throughout a variety of different foods and staples, I don't know what that noise was, throughout a variety of different foods and staples not showing up at grocery stores or showing up in lesser quantities. But what I hope you guys are paying attention to is the real threat, which is not only uh, pushes being made by politicians and their uh, financial agendas, uh, but more so the price. The price at a time where these government programs, these benefits, these aids, whether it be EBT, SNAP, food stamps, SSI, SSDI, any government stimulus, any form of stimulus from the government, any stimulus check, any allotment, PEBT, these programs are already at risk due to the current debt ceiling, debt limit situation crisis that is going on. Uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is supposed to begin negotiations to uh, raise, possibly raise this debt. But the, the, the simple fact of the matter is folks, if you guys didn't see the live stream that we did the other day, you have to understand and realize every event, even this um, possible situation with Russia and their submarines uh, off the coast of uh, the east coast of the United States uh, in the in the Atlantic Ocean, although they are more than likely within their legal right of you know maritime law as to where they could potentially uh, have their submarines all these events all boil back down to one single point of failure and that is your ability to continuously provide for your family a lot of folks i know are asking um more so concerned and worried in panic and high levels of stress and anxiety about how to prepare but literally almost every form of preparation requires one, one uh, single constant. It's not even a variable, it's a constant. And you know what that is? It's money, okay? Meanwhile, people are earning less, they're spending more, inflation is on the rise, debt is on the rise, Americans are swiping credit cards more often than not, and the higher interest rates pushed by Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, uh, as well as a variety of other factors out there are causing Americans to suffer. And then you have situations like this where the folks who are receiving these government stimulus aid packages and food stamps and benefits are going to see their food purchasing power ability eliminated, reduced, cut to almost nothing. Uh, now, we're not going to get onto the topic of people who actually receive these types of benefits and who misuse them, who do not necessarily really need them, perhaps don't even qualify, but have figured out a way to slide past and through the system to have access to these, 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 these funds. Um, but think about it. The possible threat, which albeit isn't hitting mainstream media yet, so I'm not sure as to the strength and, and just the basic possibility of it actually being a real threat. But regardless, if it does hit mainstream, if it does become uh, a high level of interest, do you know what that means? Especially based on this uh, Canadian prepper video that I watched briefly, um, 
it, it was a rather long video and it almost seemed like it was it was really just a history lesson on tanks and military equipment and it didn't really help me prepare at all but what it did provide earlier in the video before he got to the end i never made it to the end apparently at the end he credits whoever found this information um but uh another youtube channel that pre presented this information that he then regurgitated on his channel and what it boiled down to was that perhaps maybe potentially this is occurring these 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 conflicts these threats potential threats these changes of defcon levels and uh etc were from the result of possibly the ukraine having an increased infrastructure an increase a military infrastructure uh all thanks to more more so than anyone else the united states our taxpayer dollars sending our resources and our money and our funds over to the ukraine but also other countries uh included in nato but the simple fact of the matter is is that if this becomes more of an issue guess what more of our money, more of our funds, more of our uh, social security, more of our um, government spending, which is already out of control, hence the debt ceiling, debt limit crisis situation that we're currently in, um, it's just going to further induce more spending going to other countries, taking away from people and their programs that actually need it here in this country to survive in the actual physical threat that exists here and now right here okay not this existential threat that exists overseas thousands of miles away that odds are will never really hit home and even if you know let's just say things were to go south over there how much worse could it get here you know think about it Ukraine was considered the, the you know the world's breadbasket. Well, here we are, folks. You know we're spending all this money trying to do Lord knows what over there, and we are no better for it. Actually, probably worse off. But this video is not about that. This video is about this problem here, this problem that we face, which ultimately, if you read a headline, if you uh, browse through the internet, if you're watching YouTube, if you're scrolling through Facebook. Uh, you watch the news, you listen to the radio, you go to the grocery store, you fill up your car with gas or diesel, uh, you go to buy eggs, chicken, milk, necessities, you go to pay an energy bill, water, electricity, uh, gas, it doesn't matter, okay? Prices are going up, costs are going up, employment is going down, jobs are being lost, jobs are being cut, hiring freezers are in place. And all we have to look forward to is a recession, higher interest rates, and a down economy. Now, folks, this is not me telling you to go out and do anything silly or anything crazy or anything ridiculous, but it is me sharing with you this information that is abundantly clear as I'm continuously doing my research on a regular basis to bring you guys more knowledge, more education, more information of these breaking news alerts and updates only to realize that there's a large percentage of the American population that is literally about to get wiped out financially and they don't even know it yet. And if they do know it, they're in denial. OK, so I came across um, a story. Actually, I'll share this story with you. Uh, I came across a story here that I want to show you guys about uh, cryptocurrency and uh, the XRP SEC um, debacle. But first, uh, you know, we have security threats and security issues, obviously, which is why crypto is a huge concern right now and the de uh, central bank uh, digital currency and other decentralized currencies besides uh, XRP, besides Bitcoin, besides Ethereum. But the simple fact of the matter is, is that there's something going on, okay? And uh, it's, it's actually interesting because we, we, ha we got global conflict, we got political conflict. Like I said, you got these uh, Republicans trying to do away with these uh, benefits and these stimulus programs, these government aid allotments and stimulus packages for these people who really need it. 
so we got all these plus we've got the banks and them doing some say some shady things not to mention you know it's like what's really going on like all this money going to these other countries to help them and protect them does it really go there or does it then get funneled back somewhere else we can talk about that in another video but um people are worried people are afraid people are scared like i said high levels of stress high levels of anxiety and um a lot of folks are worried about the money that the little bit of money that they do have and what's the best way to protect it so i can't tell you exactly what it is but i can tell you what somebody told me and it's another content creator that you guys probably have seen or watched but i'm not going to tell you exactly who I don't think that they really want their business out there like that. Um, but we were having a conversation and it came down to the basic simple principle of I'm taking all of my money and I'm putting it here. And I don't think this was a matter of I'm taking my money out of the bank and just stuffing it under my mattress, but it boils down to what I was telling you guys about the other day as I was walking the beach and told you that, you know, YouTube content creation is a great method it's a great medium, it's a great tool, it's a great resource to build income streams, to, to generate revenue. Think about it. If you watched uh, any of these videos about the, the Russian submarines off the East Coast, you know, like think about it, one in particular, like I said, do you understand how much money there is to be made from producing a 20 something minute video discussing the history of uh, you know, war machines, war uh, machinery, artillery, uh, you know, um, oceanic traffic patterns, uh, geography, uh, political events, news events. It's more than just a prepper video. You see what I'm saying? Um, I digress. The simple fact of the matter is, is that this other creator that I was speaking to basically told me in a nutshell that they were taking a large sum of their money, if not all, all is, you know, a generalized statement and they were going to put it here. Where was here? Here was in a place that was in their opinion, safest and going to produce the biggest return and ultimately the highest amount of cash flow. Now we've discussed cash flow. Somebody actually asked me, can you still use the term cash flow if we're moving over to a, a digital dollar? Cash flow is a relative term. It's kind of like Kleenex or Tylenol. You know what it means, but you would take a tissue by another brand. You would take another uh, fever reducer by another brand. And so basically the money's not safe wherever it was and it could be better served, it, it could have a greater use in a much stronger capacity elsewhere while continuously producing more. And ironically, where it was, was into YouTube. Now granted, YouTube's not a bank, but YouTube, they can easily see that for every dollar they put in, this many, X many dollars come back out. So they wanted to just say, you know what? I'm going to double down, triple down, basically 10x what works while it works to produce the biggest return while I can. And so on and so on, so forth and continue this cycle. So um, it's in essence, I'm taking my money out of the bank and I'm putting it here. It seems to be much safer and much reliable, much more reliable because you got to think it's like if, if you had a choice, my opinion, I would rather take my money and put it somewhere that's going to continuously produce more versus keep it somewhere in one particular spot that it could it's barely going to produce any with the um, interest rates, the annual percentage yields that these even high yield savings accounts produce and be continuously at greater risk in these institutions, in these establishments that can just cut you off at any time versus, you know, option B, door number two, where it's like, at least here, I can control it, I can manage it, and I can make it bring back more. All right, so 
That's that story. Now, granted, this particular creator, like I said, uh, the videos that are created and produced that I highly encourage other people to get involved with and create their own content, create user generated content, uh, get connected with sponsors, uh, get connected with affiliate links. I actually have a really good affiliate link, uh, two actually, three actually, that I can share with you guys if anybody's interested. Build your brand, build your business, start online businesses, begin to save, begin to invest so that you don't find yourself in a situation where you are financially and economically crippled by the economic situations that are going on in addition to the government entities out there that are trying to hold you down and starve you and take more away from you. They're not there to help you, okay? They want you to be reliant and dependent upon them and beg and plead, okay? While they continuously make things worse for you, better for them, continuously make prices go up higher, and this is going to be a forever cycle. I can pretty much say with extreme certainty that the price that we see today for eggs, the price that we see today for milk, and the price that we see today at the grocery stores for a lot of staples, and the price that we're seeing per, per kilowatt hour for energy, and per gallon for gas and fuel and all the necessities that we need in water. Water is a big deal because you've got certain parts of the country that don't have water and they can't get water. And the folks that do have water won't even sell it to them, okay? Or they won't give it to them and if they did, they don't have enough money to buy it. I can guarantee you that these costs are gonna continuously go up from this point moving forward. Yes, some of these commodities will fluctuate day to day, but year over year, if we look at the graphs, if we look at the trends, they're going up. And I can pretty much guarantee you that the average worker, they're gonna see that they're gonna see their their income trend down or their income stay flat. As these costs go up, it's ultimately pushing income, earnings, revenue, paychecks down, savings wiped out, dwindled, accounts drained to zero, retirement not even a question, don't even think about it, uh, if you're even lucky enough to have a job to work and not be retired, okay? Odds are you're gonna look to retirement only to look to asking your children or perhaps your friends to move in with them and become roommates because you can't afford to live on your own. Unless you're making moves and planning and preparation to uh, combat that. So it's just ironic when I watch a video of someone sharing information positioned in a way that is for preparation of a possible international conflict that more than likely won't necessarily directly impact the viewers while making several hundreds, thousands, if not millions of dollars from the content created, the affiliates that they're associated with, the brands that they promote, the drop shipping items that they sell, et cetera, et cetera, that I share with you guys on a regular basis. But no, instead, you guys need to be worried about this submarine, okay? You need to be worried about this over here. You need to be worried about this over there. Sure. We all need to have a constant state of alertness and awareness, but I think we also need to have a constant state of alertness and awareness to the simple fact of the matter is that we are more likely to face extreme hardship and be wiped out at home based on what we have been told by our own government where the economy is gonna be softened, balance sheets are gonna shrink, pain will be felt by businesses and pain will be felt by families while the unemployment rate is going to shoot up over five and a quarter percent over two million jobs are going to be lost you have uh folks in congress politicians leaders lawmakers out there trying to take away these government stimulus aids and benefit programs for the people who need it and in the meantime everybody else is just sitting there you know missing the forest for the trees not realizing the opportunities that exist out there for them to better their financial and economic position, even if it's not to go out and buy a mansion, go out and buy a 20,000 square foot home, 
go out and buy an exotic car, Lamborghini, Ferrari, a, a Bentley, Maserati, Aston Martin. I don't care. I don't, it don't matter. It could be just paying your bills. It could be stashing money away for, for savings, for a safety net, for retirement, sending your kids to a better school, um, health care, dental, buying a home, a reasonable price home, a homestead, uh, being able to buy and afford the livestock, the chickens, the feed, the things that you want, being able to buy the prep items that you desperately need. How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it when you came in afford to keep your head above water as it is? You're already living paycheck to paycheck as it is. And inflation is here to wipe you out. And everybody that is theoretically on your side is not helping you. I digress. Now, speaking of survival and safety, go check out Justin. His channel name is GI Justin. And he's a retired ex-army uh, pilot, a helicopter pilot. He's now on YouTube. He's a small business owner. He's a great guy, cool dude. He's a girl dad. And, uh, you know, he's out there making content because we've, we've connected, we've met, he's watched, he's learned, he's listened, he's understanding and he's executing on what he knows he needs to add to his preparation, to his prepping, to his survival strategy for him and his family. But with that being said, He's making some tremendous content of real world, real life, boots on the ground, insider intel from an actual army veteran with real world survival tips and strategies. And he actually just put one up uh, on budget, uh, budget friendly uh, survival gear, knives in, sp in particular, and tourniquet field dressings and first aid which you guys need to check it out. So I'm gonna link that down in the description, go check it out. But additionally, some of the concepts that I bring you guys, I feel as though perhaps maybe are easier said than done. However, even with the content creation YouTube, uh, I'm here to help you guys if you, if you wanna know, if you wanna learn, it can be done. And uh, it, 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 trust me, it can be done. Uh, but it's not the only way. And um, for some folks out there, while you can, now may be a good time to get in on a great opportunity, which is why I was talking to you guys about XRP Ripple and the SEC. Now, I'm going to make a full video on this and go into this in great detail. Now, I want to preface this with a warning of caution, because in my opinion, the reason why I'm going to make this video is because I feel as though I know I have a pretty good indication as to what's going on and what's going to happen in the future. But with that being said, this could be a great opportunity, much like I've seen in the past for people who are smart and take action and are diligent and gain knowledge and education and don't procrastinate. That's going to be the key, not procrastinating. Um, the deal is, is that you can't go too heavy because if you go too heavy, a lot of folks out there are talking about Ripple going to 10,000, XRP going to 10,000, uh, getting this 10,000 bag, you know, um, stop. There's, there's, a, there's a big reason why there's these channels out here promoting this so hard and so heavily. And it's actually hitting the news here. Um, there's a reason why, okay? We'll, we'll talk about it later. But with that being said, I've told you guys before, this is a game, a game of which is going to be continuously played that usually most people uh, like you and I, most people like you and I don't have an opportunity to play. However, I feel as though I have an opportunity to win and or lose as a result of the game being played, even if I'm not playing that specific game. I can play my own game over here based on their game over there, if that makes sense. So, um, this is not investment advice, this is not financial advice, but this is a heads up, keep an eye out, pay attention, videos coming soon with additional information on this because if you've got some available resources 
that you can put towards investments that can return high yields potentially relatively quickly now may be a good time to do that although i would not go as far as to put myself into a bind in a situation where i am extremely i'm no longer liquid and i have no cushion and no safety net banking on and hoping for something great to happen now i watched another creator and basically i think it was a six seven eight thousand dollar investment and based on the projections that folks are talking about during this pump i'm gonna call it a pump okay if you guys know what i mean you know what i mean i'm gonna call it a pump so during this pump you could turn that into a hundred grand the key is is when you can turn it into a hundred grand or more than your investment that you put in you got to know when to say when okay but can you imagine uh how things could be different if you went from possibly having maybe a thousand dollars in savings zero investments so this would be an investment this would be one of your first investments investing for beginners can you imagine the life how your life could change if you could turn a thousand dollars potentially into a hundred thousand dollars through an opportunity of a game that's being played um and that's a big deal in my opinion now with that being said folks who who can barely scrounge up a thousand dollars immediately coming into a hundred thousand dollars without having to work really hard to get it could potentially lose it relatively quickly because they're just not used to it so i would highly urge and encourage you to plan for that and educate yourself for that and become more disciplined now while you can before it happens and it's all for naught because it'll go faster than you got it basically um, but think about it with that how much it could help you with your preparation with your stockpiling with your um, your savings with your safety net with eliminating debt tackling debt knocking out debt paying off bills and becoming and getting to a much more comfortable place where you can breathe easy, breathe easier, rest easy at night, not go to bed stressed and, 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 and anxious and wake up refreshed and relaxed and ready to seize the day with a clear head and focus, not worrying about losing your job because if you did, you've, you've, you've got a backup plan versus now you lose your job and you're already living paycheck to paycheck and inflation was just eating you up and you have no clue as to how you're going to survive if you were to get that text message or that alert or that email or that phone call or you go in and he knows you can't clock in anymore only to realize that hey uh we went out of, you know the company let you go you were fired you were terminated you were laid off and or the company went out of business because we're seeing that happen a lot with a lot of people out there having no backup plan literally thinking well if if it all goes south if it goes if it goes so wrong if it goes so bad then i'm just gonna have to go take what i need well if that's the case i don't want to be out there with the rest of them like that nah -uh. so uh, i want to make sure that i don't have to put myself and my family in that position in that situation to uh, be on the front lines of danger because i procrastinated and i didn't take action while I could realizing and noticing the warning signs that are out there and what's happening uh, all around us that's being shared in the news and the indications of the uh, attacks and the wipeouts that are coming for the lower income working class poor lower middle class uh, high spenders high debt carriers uh, financially uneducated folks out there if you guys want more information, if there's anything in particular you want me to cover to help you guys get started, there's a variety of resources out there, tremendous resource. I can even put videos together for you guys on these resources, how to get started. But I will say this, much like GI Justin, check him out after this video, much like GI Justin, the only way to get what you want or get what you need 
is to actually go out and get it. Go out and take action. Go out and execute. Take that first step. Otherwise, the odds are it's not just going to land in your lap. It's not just going to show up. But if you do what you need to do, do what's hard when it's easy. Before long, before you know it, you're going to look back and say, wow, I made a lot of progress. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Wow, my bank account is looking a whole lot better. I'm glad I did that. Wow, I paid off all my debt, all my credit cards, all my student loans, all these other burdens that were like really just tying me down. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at all these opportunities presenting themselves now because I'm not financially cash strapped and burdened and I have good credit, I have uh, liquid assets, I have a net worth, I've built up this portfolio, I have investments, I have small businesses, I've started my own businesses, I've got side hustles, I've got passive income streams coming in, I've got a retirement plan, I've got everything that I need. Oh wow, look at these deals on real estate, look at these deals on homes for sale, look at these deals on automobiles, because the market has crashed and all these people need to get out and they'll just take pennies on the dollar. Guess what I have? Dollars or crypto or XRP or Bitcoin or uh, digital dollars or whatever the exchange medium is going to be at that time, you have it. Versus being on the other side, looking around, figuring out, hey, what can I sell? What can I pawn? How can I borrow money? What job is out there for me to get because I just lost mine or I need another one because I'm not making enough money. Folks, remember Warren Buffett said, if you don't learn how and execute on making money while you sleep, well, then you're going to work until you die. You guys take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.